Hello. It's been a while that I recorded anything. I was forced to take a break. I had a flu, um, a cold. It was good, though, to fall into silence and just, yeah, it felt like resting, integrating. I've heard the term rest and digest. Always felt this really speaks to me. And today I thought I would record something. It just came spon it came spontaneously. And I thought I'd try to express the feeling, the sense of living awake to our true nature. There's a few um we could say trademark. <clears throat> First of all, when we believe we are in the body, when we believe ourself, our sense of self is behind the eyes, it feels like I am this small person and that my problem are very important that I am dealing with things that are really important. Maybe I have to make a list for an upcoming meeting. I have to prepare something. I have to make sure the grocery is done, everything is tidy. It feels like I have to, to really... manage my life and and everything seemed quite big actually quite like really really big really real and when when you when you realize that the realization is the realization that the character that you thought you were is a thought, is appearing on the mental level. And it's appearing there with every other character. So there's the realization that there is consciousness and that consciousness is, is infinite. It, it, that your character, this person that you think you are is appearing in consciousness and you are that. You are that consciousness. There's this realization, oh, the whole universe appears in consciousness. Everyone appears in consciousness. Everything appears in consciousness. A consciousness cannot be seen. And then it's it's like, it feels like it's it, it is that which is looking through the eyes. But from that knowing, the person becomes small it becomes smaller because you don't feel that you are in the body and that you are this small person the person is <laughs> as small as any other person but it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel small it feels like all these problems that seem very very real they're not trivial. They're very small. They're not the center stage anymore. Because you, you realize you're not the center stage, you are the stage. So you look from a wider view. And then I was looking at some picture today of a travel we did in Vancouver. A few years ago, I took picture of my partner, small, small, small in this huge forest, huge, huge tree, huge rock. 
And the feeling, being awake, the feeling is, I am walking inside myself. <laughs> Through the body, the body is um, a suit to explore existence, consciousness, to explore I am this person and I'm going over there and I'm looking at the tree and I'm the magnificent of looking at the world. It's like, um, it's purely magical. It, it's, it feels like you have um, a suit that is enabling you like a carbon unit that is enabling you to see the physical world to to look at a tree to to feel there's a tree there to to explore relationship relative experience to have friends to it's like yeah it feels like walking inside the dream it's like it's the dreamer it's the same exact analogy if you wake up in a lucid dream let's say you're dreaming and you're thinking that you are you're having this very important task that was shared on on the latest conversation that i published on my youtube channel and you feel like oh it's very very important that i get this done and then you wake up in the dream you realize oh i'm dreaming this i am dreaming this problem it's not really a problem it's it's the fun of the process of the adventure of delivering the thing is the pro is the fun of the creative process of doing it it becomes like it's the fun of you know getting in my car and going to work it's like we're playing this we're playing being the person having some problem and and when it when it is realized it's not really really serious it feels like a play it feels like there's nothing to gain, there's nothing to lose. Nothing has happened. The past is dissolved as it, it's like a, a cloud. It's just, the story is still there, but it doesn't have any weight. It's very light. It doesn't impact the movement now because it's seen that the structure is an illusion. The structure of it's always been this way. It will continue to be this way. Like the structure of the mind is 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 seen to be just a self-imposed false prison. It has no impact. So if so, so now decisions are not weighed by past consequence. It's always fresh. So if you want to connect to this energy more, when you wake up in the morning. You can stay in the freshness of this new day. The new day doesn't carry yesterday. Yesterday's gone. And if, if you can, you can do it every moment. The past moment is gone. It's always fresh. You get out of a meeting, it's done. It's done. There's nothing to review. There is and there isn't. If you feel something is to review, you can do it. But it's not necessary because it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't carry any weight. And your, your decision from this freshness will not be the same as they used to be. There will start to be new action. Dare to do this because before maybe there was fear and now it's just fresh. So jump in the unknown and try something new. And then it's proving to you that life will match you where you're at. Life will match you, will reflect. And then you prove to yourself that you can trust. You, you prove to yourself that the reality will match you where you're at and that you don't have to stay stagnant with your weight of the past. And same with the future, you, you, you start to feel really in trust that there is nothing to plan, really. You can set an intention and a coordinate, but you don't have to plan all the steps. 
moment to moment, intuition will guide you. So you, you are more open to receiving impulses, receiving creative idea and putting them in motion because you're not blocked by the idea of the past, the structure. And there is no expectation or it's, it's not that there is no desire, but there is no attachment to the result. There is no attachment that it must absolutely happen. So, so it's the, in the relative experience, it's your person, your character is free to be inspired to enjoy and it becomes like a an uninterrupted inner smile because there's a knowing that there is nothing that you have to do that you don't want to do nothing you can do what you love you can do what you want it's possible it's the trust of life the trust i am safe it's the um, it's this thing that I always had in myself, like a feeling of having a good star that that I'm okay, that I'm safe. I'm my needs are met. My basic need will be met. I can trust myself. The difficulty will be where if there is a In our human experience, if our trust has been broken at a very young age, it will be more difficult to trust. So we need to bring a lot of love to the character so that it feels so, so safe. But in the end, it's only trust, self-love, self-trust. You are your inner guru. You are the inner I love this expression. I, I I I started to listen to someone else recently. If you want to watch her, her name is Nicole Ortega. She's fabulous. Very, very clear. Uncompromising. Like very, very clear. And I love how she brings this in her own in her own words because it points to energy. You are the inner queen of your inner kingdom. You are the inner king of your inner kingdom. You cannot be a beggar and a queen or a beggar and a king at the same time. You stay center and you move with trust, self-love, self-trust. And this self-love start to grow as love of life because self with a capital S is everything. So it's the love of life. The mm. I love this expression as well. Stay humble. You know, like oh, <laughs> Nadal, uh, as a champion tennis player, he learned as a way of being, stay humble, stay hungry. I love that because stay humble, really, thank you, thank you, gratitude, being humble, and at the same time, being strong and hungry, but, you know, hungry for life, for savoring life, for tasting life, for experiencing, for creating, for, for loving. But it's an hunger that is um, a reverence to life. It's not an hunger that is, I want more and I want to accumulate and I want to keep it. And it's a, a healthy, <laughs> healthy hunger. Stay humble, stay hungry. I love that. Stay hungry for life. Stay, wake up in the morning and be curious. Oh, what is it going to be today? It's fresh. There is no future. And at the same time, it's unfolding moment to moment. So it's, there is no future, but there's also the possibility to say, I wonder what will unfold with wonderment, without fear. Because the lack of trust in the future is fear. 
And the weight of the past is regret and resentment. So when you have no weight of the past, all resentment and regret are really dropped. There's no point in regretting or resenting. It's, it's done. There's nothing to forgive. Everything was just perfectly unfolding for your own purpose, for your own awakening. Everything was perfectly unfolding. It's magical. So, so there's no need to dwell on it. When you get to that place where there's no need to dwell on it, Everyone did the best they could. It's like it's known. It's not, it's evident. Everyone did the best they could. Nothing could have been different. That's dropping the weight of the past and then trust in the moment that I will take action from intuition and wisdom moment to moment. There's no need to plan the future. So there is no fear. There is full trust in the future that my creative ability, my inspiration will guide my movement and my future will unfold from there. It has to because it's not separate. I am not separate from it. So it's the trusting. You can set an intention and coordinate and then you totally relax. All right. Intention are set. Let's see. Let's see how I'm guided. If I want to bring online a new course, I set an intention and then I'm guided. I receive information. I enjoy the process of creating it as much as I will enjoy the process of anyone buying it. And while I'm creating it, I'm in trust that it's going to be for the benefit of everyone. So the, the intention is, is not coming from the me needing anything. It's coming from life living, lifing. And it's always aligned with the happiness of everyone involved. So while I'm creating this course, I see that there will be happiness from that for others. And that, that is my happiness as well. There's no separation. And the process of creativity is unfolding without boundary because there is trust that this will serve and it will serve someone and it will serve the right person. That the one that will buy it will be the exact right person that needs it. That I, I don't have to manage that. I don't have to market it. Or if I love marketing, I could. But if I don't like marketing, I don't have to do anything. I can enjoy the process. In fact, <clears throat> everyone of us is... Um, salesperson <laughs> our person is the sale banner <laughs> so there is no uh, need to market anything when you speak from your authentic heart you are that you are already that so um, that can be enjoyable as well all right I hope this brings something into the um, felt sense of an embodied awakening, how it becomes more and more trust. But the most important thing is not to believe what I'm saying, is to prove it to yourself. You start to prove it to yourself by taking small action. And look, watch how the field changes. Reality molds around it. Sometimes it's going to be very disturbing for the field. In my process, I've mentioned it more than once on my channel prior that my partner went through huge anger phase. It was really disrupting the field because my change was radically quick. And it was quite evident that something was really shaken. But then I had to continue to trust the process, trust myself, heal my own limitation, my own belief. And, and there is more and more love, more and more enjoyment in my romantic relationship as I am embodying this inner queen energy. It's, it's not pretentious. It's um, humble and strong at the same time. It's a balance of humility 
and strength and authenticity, clarity, truth, authentic. All right, so, okay, that's it for now. Bye-bye. Happy New Year, everyone.